It's Summoner's War's 10th anniversary. So today we're gonna be talking about 10 weird and interesting Summoner's War facts. Number one, Cassandra the Fire Magical Archer kind of got the short end of the stick. She had her name changed to Amanda because of a certain collaboration unit that was entering because of the AC collab. Number two, the word assassin is now able to be said in chat without censorship because of the same aforementioned collab, which was also very subtle foreshadowing for what that collab was gonna be. Number three, the first collaboration though, was actually with another Come To Us title. Both the Neo Stone Fighter and the Neo Stone Agents are from another game under the Come To Us umbrella. Kind of f***ed up to call them monsters. They're people. There's a lot of iterations. <laughs> There's a lot of that in Summoner's War. Calling just people monsters. She looks like just a, a person, just a business lady. And well, he's got a knife. And let me see what you have. A knife. No! Number four, one of my favorite facts in Summoner's War, Mephisto used to stop the Necro boss from reviving. Mara, the Dark Amazon, would have a similar effect too. This led to incredibly fast Necro runs because instead of reviving, the boss would just stay dead instead of being the crime against nature that he is. But obviously that couldn't last for long. Number five, the twins used to pull every instance of a twin on your team. So if you ran five twins, then you'd be able to pull every single one of them anytime one of them attacked. Sounds crazy, that's because it was. I don't think I've ever seen something fixed so fast in my life. That was like, boom, they nuked it right on the spot. They were like, we cannot let that go. I think they could have let it go for a little bit longer. I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> Number six, this one seems so minor compared to the rest of them, but I really appreciate these subtle quality of life updates that come to Summoner's War. They moved the Devilmon in the glory shop from deeper in the shop to right at the front. So that way you don't have to scroll as much. Thanks, come to us. You're welcome. Number seven, it used to take 11 taps to skip through the world boss animation. Thank God that's behind us. A baker's 10 is an insane amount of taps to have to get my mana. <laughs> hey, that's not funny anymore. World boss rewards are great. I got an LD scroll from world boss literally like 10 minutes ago. Did I get anything cool from it? No, but that's not the point. The point is I got one. Number eight is actually a few rapid fire skill changes. Verd used to only hit one time on his skill two. So people used to not skill him up all the way to avoid him using that skill two sooner than he had to. Juno used to only cleanse herself if there were two or more debuffs on her. And Shiho, well, Shiho used to be a lot worse until he became the dev's favorite monster. And I'm pretty sure he's like the most buffed unit in the game, but I'd have to verify that. I'm, that's a statement I'm making right now. I didn't think to say that when I was writing the script. So, <laughs> you know. Also, Ciara used to not detonate bombs. There's a lot of really weird skill adjustments that have happened over the years. People sometimes forget too that Masha used to be almost entirely different. Number nine, Hall of Heroes used to have unlimited entrance. So that means that you could farm up as many pieces as you wanted to over the 72 hour window. But it also used to be a lot harder. <laughs> oh my God. And also that is just crazy. Finally, number 10 is that Summoner's War has a lot of weird secret mechanics. And I already have a video on those on the channel if you're interested about learning about those. Or if you like Summoner's War history, check out the Just How Broken were Ganymede and Molong videos. And if you know any weird or interesting Summoner's War facts, leave them in a comment. I'd love to check that out. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.